What's up, my name is Triple Shoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll show you how to set up a key authentication on your server and disable password authentication to make your SSH a lot more safe. While this isn't a guaranteed improvement in security, it is definitely quite a large one. So first of all, you'll need to SSH into your server to begin with so we can run some commands on our server. You can generate private keys and public keys on your own PC or of course on your server. So to start, I'll generate a private public key on my own PC in a PowerShell tab using SSH hyphen keygen. You should have this function built into your computer as it's pretty basic. You can see it wants to save in my user folder, SSH IDRSA. That's fine with me. Now I'll start by generating an ed25519 key. This should be used when you don't need RSA encryption. It's just a little bit better to use with private public keys. This I'll use SSH keygen tag T ed25519 and I'll hit enter. Then we'll create our private public key pair. In this case, I'll call it the name of my server, Hertznome. Then we can enter a password for me. I'll enter one now, enter one again, hit enter, and it's now saved in our computer. So I can clear. And now that our key has been generated, you can see it in my folder over here as Hertzner and Hertzner Pub. These are the two files that we'll need to keep. One of them will need to go to our server. I'll head across to my server here and we'll start with mkdir p tilde slash dot ssh, hit enter. Then I'll enter nano tilde slash dot ssh slash authorized underscore keys as such. And I'll hit enter to open up this file here. If it doesn't already exist, it'll be created. Then I'll open the public key as a text file. I'll copy all the text paste it in, hit Control S to save, and Control X to close. Now we can shmod tag capital R go equals tilde slash dot SSH and ch own tag R, followed by your username. In my case, I'll be using the root account tilde slash dot SSH and enter. Now we can try connecting to our server using our SSH key. For me, I'll be using Visual Studio Code. I'll pull across VS Code with the remote SSH extension installed, F1, remote config, and I'll open the OpenSSH configuration file, which is located in my user profile here. And I've entered my server as such, host, followed by my host name, whatever it is. This can be literally anything, host name, which is the IP address of your server, user, which in my case is root, and finally identity file, which is the private key saved in our computer. I'll save it, close it, F1, connect, and I'll use a remote SSH connect to host. Then I'll choose Hertzner in my case, and we'll need to enter the passwords for the SSH key here. When we do so, we'll be dropped into the server, we can terminal, and you can see we're in root at techno. Awesome. So now that it's working successfully and we made sure it said the key rather than the account password, we can go ahead and disable password authentication on our server completely. For this, we can sudo nano slash etc slash ssh slash ssh d underscore config and inside of here we'll control w to search then password enter and we'll look for password authentication which will uncomment change to gnome control s control x and sudo system ctl restart ssh there we go. Of course, you may want to do this for your user accounts too. I'm only doing this for root as I may need to log in as root once in a while, but you can rinse and repeat for other accounts as well. Just make sure that the tilde by default is the directory of your account. In this case, slash root. Otherwise it can be slash home slash whatever your account is. In my case, it would be techno. Anyways, that's really about it for this quick video. You've now secured your server with a bit of extra security. Thank you all for watching. My name is Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.